Every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> hustling real hustling. What's up, everyone? It's Nate. Every day I'm hustling, and today we're going to do a mail call. So I'm going to show you stuff a little bit over the last two weeks that I've been picking up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. Click that bell. Give it a thumbs up. It shows YouTube that you really love my content and you appreciate the stuff that I'm throwing out there. I'm trying to get you guys some of the hottest guys before they really spike. This is a way you can really either save yourself some money if you're PCing these guys or you can be making money on the market when they ever they spike. We're doing a 2K giveaway once I hit 2,000 subscribers of either slabs or cash. So you don't want to miss that as well. You just have to comment the video whenever I drop it for the giveaway. And that will give you an entry in getting in there. So make sure you click that bell so this way you see all the updates of my channel from videos to lives that we do also want to remind you guys about our auctions on sundays 4 p.m eastern this week will be on pittsburgh's channel his link is in the description one thing you definitely want to check out is our facebook group that is where you can do all things sports cards buy sell trade ask questions join them in the psa submissions by and getting in contact with us direct with instant messenger through facebook and other places but without further ado we're going to go right into the our mail day and show you guys some cards that i've been picking up and our first card is a 2017-18 prism of jason tatum i'm all in on that card for 230 dollars 55 cents his cards have been selling for 300 plus in the psa 9 i feel there's a lot of growth in him if you haven't seen my last couple videos definitely check those out i give you guys some different guys on the higher end and on the cheaper end that you should be looking out for and he is definitely one of those guys a lot of value still left uh lucas psa nines are roughly between 500 and 800 depending on which variant of the prism you're getting so with his cards i feel like there's tons of room left to grow that's why i've been recommending you guys picking him up he plays for a really good team in Boston, really good fan base, and him and Jalen Brown are locked in in Boston, so they should be very competitive for years to come. My next card that I'm going to be talking about is a Tim Duncan 1997 mint card. I bought this thing raw. Uh, it's $37.05. All in on that card. Tim Duncan is probably one of the best big men in the game. Started stretching the floor with a nice little jump shot. Occasionally shoot that three. Not like we see today with a lot of the other stretch big men in the game. But he is definitely one of the, the, the better players in our game's history. So I got to have a rookie of his. This car looks mint. It should get a PSA 10, hopefully. That would be a super score if that does happen. Because I'd be all in $37 plus grading fee through PSA. So can't beat that. We have a Michael Jordan 1997 Topps Finest Showstoppers bronze card with the pool with the pill on it this card the pill was a little bit uh had a little bit of surface issues on it so i am gonna have to remove it when i sent the psa but if you do get, have those cards and you see one it's very nice and, and the pill is good leave it on there it actually will fetch you guys more money so definitely definitely keep that on there my next card that i've been picking up is a donovan mitchell shock rookie it's a SGC 9. I'm all in for $64.37. Donovan Mitchell had an amazing bubble last year. He's one of the, the guys that really showed what he had in the bubble going against Murray from the Nuggets. And I, I'm just a fan of his game. I really feel like he can... He has a lot of good years left ahead of him as well. Utah just needs to have a couple better supporting cast pieces there. And I think they can have a nice little run over there as well. Next guy is an Atlanta Hawk, teammate of Trey Young. It's John Collins. This is Prism Refractor uh, Fast Break Auto. I bought it for 67.67 all in. He's been playing great throughout the season. Rebounding, scoring, good player. Could shoot the three. Um really big on him i think he's gonna have even better year as things go when the Atlanta hawks meet get to the playoffs i really feel like his card prices are going to spike even more next card is up it's a joker uh 2019 auto from revolutions i'm in it all in for 41 24 it's an on card auto even though it's not prism it's an on card joker is a super player he started the season i think the first few games five games or so with basically triple doubles every game so his game is is not capped off yet he's still growing he always was an amazing passer and shooter stretch big in our game today 
Next card I got up is a LeBron James Red, White, and Blue. I'm basically collecting all these cards. I literally like all the different variations. I already have a green prism of his. So I'm all in for this 35.93, and this will be a possible PSA 10 going to PSA. My next card I got up is a Kobe White PSA 9 uh, Optic for $38.20. $30 I was all in on this. If I can find anything Optic Select or Prism of Kobe for cheap, I'll pick up his PSA 9s all day. So that was definitely a, a good pickup there. And I picked up Luca's second year Revolution for $10.87. Anything Luca's second year, first year, man, I don't have to tell you guys. It is off the charts. Uh, Porzingis, I believe, just came back to Dallas. So we'll really see what they're really cooking with over there. And I'm excited to see what his prices are going to continue to go at. That's for sure. My next pickup is a Colin Sexton. I didn't get one. I got two all together. I'm all in on this purchase for $76.85. These cards also will be going to PSA. Really nice condition. Uh, it's hard to find good condition raw cards with so many people grading, but you know what I mean? Like, if you're able to pick up these things, definitely, definitely pick them up. His PSA 10 hit up to upwards of $300, and uh, with some recent trades, who knows what the, the Cavs might be in for this year. And for my next guy, I picked up a 2006 Topps Chrome Rajon Rondo, a.k.a. Playoff Rondo. Honestly, I just picked him up because it was cheap. I'm a fan of Rondo. He helped the Lakers win a championship. That's probably the majority of the reason why I picked it up. Not really a super high dollar card, but there is very, very low populations of his rookie card. So if he goes to the Hawks and has another great postseason, or he might be a conversation of someone that I would maybe recommend picking up, depending on how this year goes, because this, he has a pretty decent uh, career. A couple championships, one with Boston, one with the Lakers, and he's fighting to get another one with the Helena Hawks. So, and my last two cards I got is the same guy. I got a base of Michael Porter Jr. rookie card, all in $58.19. And I also got a green prism, all in for $47.60. The guy sent me the card, he said it was highly gradable. It wasn't. He gave me a discount. I kept it. I think it still might have a shot at being a nine, but it wasn't that uh, 10 I was hoping for when I bought it originally for $90 all in. So that's everything that we got today, guys. Definitely appreciate you guys checking out the video. Don't forget the Facebook group, our auctions, and my birthday bash on Saturday on my channel. All the links to everything will be in the description of this video. And don't forget our auctions Sunday 4 p.m. Eastern, you'll see cards and guys that you want. Name them, and we'll try and bring them out and bring them to a fair price for you guys. And that's it. We'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace.